Good morning everyone, it's Eru here and I just want to share some success tips that um, I have come to realise over the years and um, it's not so much what you're doing as opposed to what you're not doing that could um, lead you to success or the lack thereof. Um, well, plainly, the Bible does say that a man's gift will make room for him, bringing him before kings and not mere men. What does that mean? If you have a gift and you recognize your gift and you're working on your gift, you're improving it, you're, you're modifying it, you're, you're building yourself up, you're getting trained in that area, getting the information that is required so that you are skilled at in your gift, then that will bring you to a place where you come before people of importance, people of stature that can get you to that place of success that you're looking for. So do not undermine your gift. Do not try to be like anyone else. We're all unique. The Bible does say we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And what's all this with the Bible, the Bible this morning? Well, the thing is, whether you believe it or not, we have been made in God's image. The sooner we, re we realize that and work with it, the better for us. So it, there's no going against it. Um, we are made in God's image. God created us. That's what I believe. I don't believe that we came out of apes, we were out of evolution. So based on the word of God that works for me, that will work for you, that works for countless other people, when you have a gift, you recognize your gift, you utilize your gift, that is what will bring you to the place of success. So do not undermine your gift henceforth. Um, do not try and be like someone else. Don't let someone else's talent, gift dazzle you to the point that you want to emulate them. You want to be like them. Be yourself. Work with what you have. Make the best of it and you will see yourself succeeding. Go again to the Bible, the gift of the talents. The one who despised his talents, see what happened. And the ones who recognized their talents and used it, see how they profited. So I hope this word inspires you today and that you're blessed and that you're making your way to church. It's about 8.25 a.m. this morning. So I am not late. I am doing the right thing. I'm right where I should be. I hope you will be too. Take care and thank you so much.